I will be revealing the XRPL EVM sidechain's interoperability with MetaMask upon the release of specific patches for the sidechain by XRP Ledger Core developer Pierce's technology. By the way, a well-known lawyer has listed six justifications for why the SEC versus the Ripple experiment will not take place, and I will discuss it all with you guys to get your feedback. Is a 10 cents dip imminent, and will it present investors with a profitable opportunity? Finally, gentlemen, I'm going to compare the annual XRP rise to Bitcoin patterns and look for any links. Follow me through to the end to learn more. Check out this new video as soon as possible if this sounds like something that would be of interest to you. Anthony Welfare, the digital currency advisor at Ripple, noticed a tweet from Pierce's technology announcing the completion of work on the XRPL Ethereum virtual machine sidechain. The group stated that the sidechain capabilities it disclosed in October 2022 have been improved and enhanced. The company claims that the most recent upgrades will hasten the official launch of the EVM sidechain. The tweet was accompanied by a video that described the substantial advancements made by the XRPL EVM. It was discovered that the team has improved their performance, resulting in a block time reduction from 5.4 seconds to 3.5 seconds. The XRP less and this block time are comparable. The development team also provided validators with a proof of authority algorithm. This implementation aids in simulating the mainnet's governance framework. The group also switched to Comet BFT from the Tendermint consensus algorithm. The Comet BFT is the newest and most potent variant, claims the statement. The study specifically noted that these updates have already been implemented and are reachable through Mask Wallet by connecting to the proper network. In the meantime, there have been significant improvements made to the bridge that connects the EVM sidechain with the main XRP Ledger network. Based on Ripple's XLS 38D modification, the team mentioned that it created a fully distributed witness bridge. As a result of exchange transactions, native interoperability is guaranteed. Expectedly. The technology update from Pierce was well received by the XRP community. Specifically Ripple. Anthony Welfare, a CBDC advisor, praised their outstanding efforts in conjunction with the XRP Ledger Foundation. He was most excited about the fact that MetaMask wallets can link to XRPL's EVM sidechains. It's quite exciting to see the MetaMask wallet linking to EVM sidechains on XRPL, said Welfare. Welfare also described his entry into the blockchain industry. The Ripple advisor mentioned that while he had first chosen Ethereum, he was thrilled that XRPL was connecting to Ethereum. Welfare said that interoperability is essential for the development of blockchain technology. I began my blockchain experience with Ethereum, he said, and I appreciate that we are bridging to the XRP ledger. Blockchain technology's future growth and success depend on its interoperability. Please remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to learn about new developments involving XRP. Leading Bitcoin attorneys have been making predictions about the likely result of the SEC vs. Ripple trial. For background, the SEC's allegations against Ripple executives Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson will be resolved during the next trial. It is noteworthy that the SEC accused Garlinghouse and Larson of helping Ripple distribute XRP as an unregistered securities. Even though the court has already rendered a summary decision, a jury trial has been set for the case involving Ripple executives. It is important to note that the trial is scheduled to begin in question 2, and the parties have already informed the court of their availability. Top cryptocurrency attorneys, like Fred Rispoli, believe that the SEC vs. Contrary to popular belief, the Ripple trial will not take place, according to Brad Garlinghouse. For a variety of reasons, the Chris Larson trial won't take place. I concur. To support this rumor, Attorney Rispoli claimed that Attorney Rispoli listed six justifications for why the SEC vs. Trials on Ripples won't take place. First, the Proxerp attorney emphasized that Garlinghouse and Larson were initially sued by the SEC as a negotiating tactic for a potential settlement. He pointed out that Ripple was under pressure to take a poor settlement stance because the regulatory agencies had sued the CEOs. But in a summary judgment ruling, the court determined that Ripple had prevailed in two-thirds of the SEC's claims. Second, 
The trial might not proceed because former SEC employees William Hinman and Jay Clayton might be called to the stand as witnesses, according to attorney Rispelis. He said that a jury in New York may decide to try both SEC executives for their involvement in Donald Trump's administration. Thirdly, the SEC may find it challenging to demonstrate institutional sales, attorney Rispelis emphasized. Charges of reckless behavior against Garlinghouse and Larson in general executives at Ripple may simply refute the claim using the court's decision on XRP programmatic sales. Remember that even though the court determined that Ripple's previous sales to institutional investors qualified as securities, it determined that its programmatic sales did not for the fourth reason. The SEC's evidence of Ripple's domestic versus international sales of XRP according to attorney Rispoli, is insufficient. The SEC's most recent restructure, in attorney Rispoli's opinion, makes it less likely that the agency will pursue a case against Ripple officials. He mentioned how the trial team was recently reformed by the securities regulator. As previously mentioned, the SEC moved to have Pascal Guerriere, one of its senior trial attorneys, removed from the case. The pro XRP attorney concluded by pointing out that the SEC has taken part in back to back trials against other corporations. He made a suggestion that the SEC would find it challenging to launch a new trial against Ripple officials right away. According to attorney Rispelis, the SEC is focusing on submitting an interlocutory appeal because it recognizes how challenging it will be to prevail at trial. If the court rejected the SEC's move to launch the appeal, he said, the SEC would have no other negotiating position. The SEC put everything on the line, and it will be interesting to see exactly how it structures its loss if this Hail Mary doesn't pan out, he continued. Additionally, XRP has been the focus of investigation and conjecture. The most recent examination of the assets price movement has shifted to the downside. Notably, several market analysts predicted declines to such people's two-year lows is Noob Territory. Famous cryptocurrency trader. Noob Capital posted on X to urge caution and warn that XRP may be due for a major decline. His study alludes to a likely return to the $0.27 cents price range using data from a weekly chart. He also predicts a prolonged decline from this point to $0.10. Cents. The analyst's initial focus of attention is in this region. To touch, XRP would need to fall 80% from its present level. This price point was last experienced by XRP in March 2020, when it plunged from $0.34 cents to a low of $0.10. Cents. Since it rebounded, XRP has been trading above $0.10. Cents. His conviction is reaffirmed in a subsequent post from New Capital. Despite widespread confidence, the analysts emphasized the market's turbulence and suggested that another slump is probably imminent. Trader Joker offers more explanation and his analysis agrees with the predictions made by New Capital. The scenario put up by Trader Joker revolves around XRP's performance below the 60 cents mark. The research suggests that XRP could retest the trend line and hold above it if it trades below 60 cents on a daily basis. A comeback above 60 cents, as predicted by the expert, would indicate an optimistic outcome. But he also mentions the possibility of another scenario in the event that this happens. In this second scenario, he claimed, XRP will fall to a range between $10 and $0.17. Cents. This would happen if XRP deviates from the $0.40 cents trend line rather than holding it. Key indications highlight the difficulties XRP is now facing. Notably, XRP is currently trading at $0.51, cents, below both the 50-day EMA of $0.59 cents and the 200-day EMA of $0.52. Cents. The Daily Relative Strength Index RSI, a momentum indicator, is currently at 34.2 and has been moving lower since July 26. Collectively, these indicators point to a pessimistic outlook for XRP. Despite these difficulties, several observers are still optimistic about the long-term prospects for XRP. A well-known chartist named Egreg recently predicted a 24.577% increase. As stated, this might push XRP well above the $100 mark. It is difficult to forecast the future movement of XRP, nevertheless. The cryptocurrency market is renowned for its turbulence. As a result, 
both bullish and bearish possibilities continue to be feasible and equally improbable. These forecasts shouldn't be regarded as investment guidance. The key question of the day is if there is a relationship between Bitcoin and XRP. Please remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe to our channel so you can be the first to learn about new developments. Regarding XRP, Bitcoin, the leading cryptocurrency asset, is renowned for dictating the course of the larger crypto market. Although XRP has a history of standalone rallies, the asset's price direction is typically determined by changes in the price of Bitcoin. An influential member of the XRP community named Riz believes XRP is set for an outstanding year-long increase based on this pattern. He came to this conclusion by comparing the price changes of XRP and Bitcoin. Riz recently shared weekly charts of BTC's price movements on X, formerly known as Twitter, to make these estimates regarding yearly profits. It's interesting to see that the charts for this year, 2013, 2017, and 2021 all show similar changes. Data from the charts shows that before performing a significant rally that would result in yearly highs, Bitcoin generally finds itself in a large ascending triangle. As a result, XRP frequently sticks to a similar trend. When BTC rose from $3 in November 2011 to a peak of $266 in April 2013, this occurrence took place. This rise occurred right after BTC crossed above an ascending triangle in which it had been trapped. In reaction, XRP skyrocketed in December 2013 to 6 cents. In 2017, BTC continued this trend after breaking above a multi-year ascending triangle. In December 2017, the asset eventually increased to $19,785. This rise was matched by XRP which soared to an all-time high of $3.31 in January 2018. In 2021, the pattern reappeared, resulting in the all-time high price of $68.97 for Bitcoin in November 2021. The selling pressure brought on by the SEC case, which surfaced in December 2020, prevented XRP's rise when it reached a high of $1.95 in April 2021. Notably, late 2021 had a significant bull run, with many assets reaching all-time highs. Some observers claim that if the lawsuit hadn't happened, XRP would have reached an all-time high that same year. Market observers anticipate that, now that XRP has finally gained regulatory clarity, it will closely follow Bitcoin's fluctuations. BTC is about to continue its bullish tendencies from earlier this year. The rising triangle that Bitcoin is now trading in is reminiscent of the patterns from 2013, 2017, and 2021. Analysts think the next bull run could start if this tense scenario breaks. Coincidentally, April 2024 is predicted to be the next big Bitcoin event. According to Riz, the breakout might occur in 2024 or 2025, leading to a significant pump. Bitcoin's Exponential Growth the XRP rally also continues. Consequently, this video has come to an end. Like the video if you found it enjoyable, and don't forget to subscribe. I find that the YouTube algorithm is greatly aided by this. Also, spread the word about this video to as many people as you can. Let's spread this news far and wide. Don't miss any of our stuff if you are a serious Bitcoin enthusiast. We'll chat about the most recent news that affects our community as a whole when we meet you tomorrow.